What's up everyone? Tonight I am going to be making a craft that everybody can make. You guys all can make it with me. All you have to do, it depends on how many you want to make. I'm going to show you what it is. And um, I will give you like a roundabout price of what I paid. Um, this is what it's going to be. Look how cute. Hopefully you can see it. It is adorable. Um, so, I don't know how many you want to make. If you just want to make one, I will tell you. If you just want to make one, it's going to cost you, um, I don't know. Let, let, me, let me show you what we got. I got six bows for $1.25. I got a pack of these pipe cleaners for $1.00. Um, so I got the bows at Dollar Tree. I got the pipe cleaners at Family Dollar. Um, I got these candles. Now they had a thing on them. I had to peel the thing off and get some of the sticky away. Um, I bought six candles at $1.25 a piece. And um, I'm trying to think. And then I bought two markers from Walmart. The candles were from Dollar Tree. The markers were from Walmart. Now I can't remember how much these markers, they're paint markers. I think they were like two fifty a piece. They might have been two sixty five or two forty five. I don't remember exactly how much they were. Now I have an orange and a black. You could probably use a black sharpie. Probably. I bought the paint markers because um, I know how well they work and they hold up. Sharpie might not hold up. You might have to fix it later on. Um, but you probably could use a black sharpie and a black and an orange sharpie if they sell an orange one but i bought the paint markers they will last me a long time i mean i will get through this project and if i wanted to make three more sets of six i'm sure there's going to be plenty in here for that so i would say about six bucks for the two markers at walmart now like i said if you got paints at home if you got black paint and orange paint and you're good at detail do it that way i got the markers so it would be easier um, so I added everything up. I added, I think I did $5 for the markers, but I don't really remember everything I showed you, the six candles, the pack of bows that has six bows on it, the pipe cleaners, the markers, I added it up and it came to $15 and then that's before tax. So it'll be a little bit more with tax. And then I divided it into six and it made them two dollars and fifty cents a piece to make um god i could do these up and probably sell them for eight bucks a piece that's crazy um yeah that would be too much to ship i'm not going to make them to sell but um because it would be too much of a pain to ship them but if i had a little store here somewhere i could make these and sell these I might be able to get 10 bucks a piece out of them. I don't know. But I'm not doing that. I'm just making a craft today. And I want you guys to make it with me. So gather up your supplies. I'll give you a few minutes. Um, if you, you know, I'm sure you don't have them. So go to the Dollar Tree. Pick up the candles. You can probably pick up. Make sure if you pick the markers up that you get. Um, like I got the medium point on the black. I ended up having to get the medium point on the orange because they didn't have fine point. But if you can get a fine point one, it might be better. But this, the, all you need it for is the nose. We could do probably 150 noses with this pen. So um, down the line, it won't cost me as much because I won't have to buy these two things. Um, but I think they're adorable. Really adorable. I will give you some closer up some pictures of them. But we're going to get started. And um, remember, we have a sticky spot. I tried to get it off. I used nail polish remover. I used alcohol. I heated it up with the blow dryer. Um, so all we're doing today is we're drawing a face on there. We're putting the bow around it. And, um, oh, I don't know if you got to see this. I made the, um, the little buttons dot, dot, dot right in between the bow. <laughs> so cute. They're so adorable. I love them. Um, so we're really just painting. 
It's not cough. It's no nothing to do with the cricket. Um, it's just more or less your craft, our craft. So let's do this together. Um, if you don't have the supplies, watch the video and see if it's something you're interested in. And if if you go get the supplies, turn the video back on. Let's make this together. I have five more to do, so um, I'm going to start with um, painting the faces on. The, you know, the tricky part for me was making sure I got it, the face straight. So um, I did the eyeball and the eyeball first, and then of course the nose under that. But then I did one dot right straight under the middle of the nose. One dot, and then I did the mouth that way. So I did the center dot first. And then, you know, then did this. Um, I have seven dots for the mouth. So I did the center dot, and then I did three more out that way. Um, but yeah, it was fun making that, just that one. I only made that one, and somebody said, did you make a video? Hope you made a video doing it. And I was like, I didn't, because I wanted to see how that one was going to turn out. And I am very satisfied with it. I love it a lot. All right, so... Get your paint markers. Let's do the eyeballs. Y'all ready? I'm going to use the sticky. I'm going to put the sticky side on the back of the candle. Um, you can um, bring the eyeballs down a little bit from the from where the candle is. You know, you can go down maybe an inch or an inch and a half. Whatever you whatever you want to do. I'm just going to make the eyeballs. And if one eyeball looks bigger than the other. Go in there easy and make the other eyeball big too. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sure none of these are going to be exactly the same. I love these paint markers because they work so good. If you're if you're a little shaky or anything, get the fine tip. It'll be easier. But these are actually easier for the medium tip is easier for them eyeballs. All right, so I did the two eyeballs. I'm going to do the two eyeballs on every single one of them. And then I'm going to go to the nose because I'm going to work my way down. You don't want to do the mouth, you know, do the mouth now and then go back up to the nose. You'll smudge it. So until it dries all the way, you don't want to do that. So I'm just going to do the eyeballs on all five of these candles. Hopefully you guys did them. You can give them away as, as Christmas presents. So hopefully you guys are doing a set of six to it. I know that it cost you $15 and some change. So we'd probably say like, with tax, what is it, like seven, sixteen dollars um, And then you got six of them. And if you have longer zip ties at home, the zip ties might work. But, you know, I didn't have longer ones. And when I seen the pipe cleaners, I thought, there you go. I think it's like 50 pipe cleaners for a dollar at fam um It was Dollar General. Um, so let's make some more eyeballs. I'm a little shaky, but but they're turning out really, really cute. I think they're adorable. And the best thing about it is if you, you're not happy with it, go back in and make it a little bit better. Can you see it? I don't think they have to be perfect, like... Like, if I'm sitting here looking at it now, the first one, they're smaller. The next one, they're a little bit bigger. doesn't really matter. But we're going to get in here, and we're going to do this. Make them awesome. You can give them away to your family members for Christmas. They will love them. Tell them where you got the idea. That way they come subscribe to my channel. Yay! I've seen a bunch of different designs for the snowman face, different mouths and everything, but these are so cute. I just decided that this is what I'm doing. These are adorable. The basic. I do, I, I want to, I don't know how, if I'm going to, I want to make some, um, something out of my wine glasses, guys. I, I... I'm trying to declutter my house. So I got rid of so much stuff. Well, I pulled them wine glasses down. We never use them. 
and I have some up there that are pure crystal that I'm not going to get rid of. But the, the ones that wasn't real crystal, I pulled them down and I thought, you know, I could make some crafts out of these. I was going to get rid of them at my yard sale, but then I decided, no, I'm going to make some crafts out of them. So hopefully I will get to that too and it'll be another project. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I got to put these back on so I can see. All right. Easiest project ever. All right. So all the eyeballs are done. Now we're going to come back in with the orange marker. Um, be careful shaking these up because like in the past when I was out on location and I was trying to sign my name on something, I opened it up and the little tip went flying. Actually, I think, yeah, I, I think we was at, um, the abandoned, the abandoned bridge and we were trying to put our YouTube channel on it. And when we shook it up and pulled the cap off, the thing went flying into the water. All right. So let's see here. We'll get to this one and we're going to do the nose. Now on the nose, we're just going to go straight down, curve it up a little bit and then go straight over. Um, I don't know if that made sense to you. Um, make a straight line, curve it up and straight over. Or you can make the straight line straight over and then curve down. I'll get you a close up of these. Ah, this, this medium tip marker works pretty good for the nose. All right, so there's the nose. If you see what I'm talking about, I don't know if this is blurry or not. But it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. They are so adorable. Once you get your eyeballs and your face starts on your candle starts looking cool, you're going to be like, oh my God, this is so much fun. They're so cute. They are definitely cute. You're going to kind of do, here's an idea. You're going to kind of do a check mark and then straight over. Oh, I love them. So adorable. So just play with it. The, I pl the way I practiced this face and the nose was on a piece of paper. So practice on a piece of paper. It's going to be a straight down check mark up and then straight over. Yeah, you'll see that'll work perfect. You might want to make it more of a point, but it'll work perfect. So friggin' adorable. All right. Now with my paint markers, I have to let them dry a little bit. I, if you use a Sharpie, it might not, you won't have to let it dry. You have to let it dry, but not as much as I'm going to have to let them dry. Check mark, up, and over. That is, that's exactly how it is. Do that on some paper, guys. Do your check mark, up, and straight over. And you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Do it on paper. Believe me, I practiced this before I started. Oh, that nose is, this dude's got a bigger nose. <laughs> okay. So let me, let me make this one more of a point. Okay. Because I'll have to grab them back and I will have to um, put the, the mouth on them. And when you get to the mouth, let me grab these and touch them up a little bit. You can touch your noses up if you want to touch it up. If it's not to your satisfaction, touch them up. Get the paint markers if you can afford to because they are awesome. And if you goof it up, have a paper towel. Have a little wet piece of paper towel. You can probably wipe it right off real quick. Once it dries, it might not come off as quick. All right, so there's all the faces. Let me see if I can, they, they all got to dry, but I can still grab them. I want to show you guys. I might have to get out of the picture for this to be clear. So friggin' cute. 
Then we got one more here. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work with me in the picture. Can you guys see them? Aren't they cute? Anyways, I think they're adorable. Let's do the mouths. Let me put them back over here. Maybe we'll just leave them so you guys can see them. Alright, so now for the mouth, I'm going to go down a little bit further. Maybe I could have brought the nose down a little bit further too. That's why I said practice on paper. Oh, oh this is orange. <laughs> I'm not doing the mouth with orange, I'm doing the mouth with black. So, um, all right. So then you just go down as far as you think you want to go. I went down a little further on this one for the, for the mouth. I think I brought the nose down further on this one too. But your first dot is going to be like center. Go down and go center of the nose. You know where it's in between the eyes, perfectly centered down. Make your first dot there. And then you can work your way up and up the other way. And then it'll be pretty even. Okay, so my first dot. And then I'm going to do, after the first dot's in, I'm going to do three this way and three this way. Not counting the first dot. So we're going to have seven dots all together. I might have put this one up a little too close, but it's not going to matter. Yeah, see this one's a lot closer. But like I said, they're all going to be a little different. It's cute. There he is. I'll put this one down a little bit lower. His nose is up too high. No, he's a, I guess I didn't put him down too low. <laughs> Looked like I did. Or I was thinking I did, but I didn't. So cool. <laughs> they got different shaped lips or a different shaped mouth. You could probably get away with just doing five. But I don't think he looks as good with only five. I think he needs that extra that extra dot. Yep, there they go. They are so adorable. Alright guys, so next, before I do the bottom dot dot dot, I'm going to do the bows. So that's what's coming up next. Alright guys, are you having fun yet? This is awesome. Um, I wanted to let them dry just a little bit. But I think they are just awesome. Now if you want to make your faces bigger, you can make your faces bigger. But these turned out pretty good let me grab the bows um remember the bows six of them for six for a dollar 25 now they come with a little like twist tie on the back it's not big enough to wrap around so i took the twist tie off you can slide it right out and slide um the um pipe cleaner in there so i'm going to get them all off of here Alright, so um, you could save these. Don't throw these little zip ties away or these little twist ties away because you might be able to use them for something. Remember, I like these better on bread than I like the little 
plastic things. Um, can you imagine how rich the person that made zip ties is? <laughs> I wish I had a made, not zip ties, twist ties. Zip ties too, but twist ties for sure. They're probably really rich off of zip twist ties. And those little clips, those little plastic clips, like I said, I don't like them as, as much. But twist ties, they have made um, twist ties. They make that twist tie stuff that you put around your plants. Yeah, they're rich. <laughs> From a little piece of twist. All right. Oh, throwing it away. Now, if you want to, um, once we get a twist, once we get one of the bows on, if you wanted to put the dot, 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 the buttons, you could glue, you could also glue buttons if you wanted the hot glue. This is just simple. You're just drawing and you're putting it together. Um, but if you wanted to, you could hot glue the bows to it so there's not a, nothing there. That would save you a little bit of money. Um, and, um... That would work too, you know. I was going to hot glue them, and I thought, no, this is perfect. That way, you know, I mean, most of, like, I'm going to burn mine. Mine will be burnt. After Christmas, I will just burn them. And then that away, they're, um, so what I did, that away, you know, I don't waste them. Next year, I could make the same thing. Anyways, I got the, the um, pipe cleaner on there. Had to think about what the heck it was. Um, and just you just make sure it's even now when I put it on the when I put it on here let's move these other ones over yep some of the mouths are crooked I can see it already must be my left hand in this um, just take it like this it doesn't matter where you get it as long as it's close to where it needs to be because you could straighten it but I put it down here between my legs to hold it and then I just grab it, pull, I twist it, and I, well, I twist and, I don't twist it. I pull it together and just twist it. Then I start twisting it on there. As many times as you can. Make it twist and twist and twist. Um, I don't know if I can show you guys. Just twist and twist and twist until it comes into a little ball. And then, then you're done. You know, if it slides down, slide it back up. If you want to put a little bit of a dot of hot glue on there you could do that too um, but then I would twist the second one all the way around and it you know it'll stay it looks like he's got a little belt on see there okay then you can get your bow and straighten your bow where you want it and once your bow is where you want it then you do your dot 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 Try to make sure it's center, and um, or you glue your, your buttons on there. I mean, you can do them down here if you want. You don't have to do them up in between there. Oh, my son sent me something. i got to see what he sent me. Rocket launch in 30 minutes down there. Oh, wow, okay. Maybe I should go out and see it. 9.46. Is it at 10 o'clock p.m.? I might go out and try to record that for you guys if I could see it. Rocket launch, he said, in, in 30 minutes. Um, all right. So then I take my black marker, pull it back off. Or if you have buttons, you're going to glue them. And we are going to put, like, the, the three buttons, the dot, dot, dot. I'm going to put them lower this time. Dot. Dot. And down below the... Oh, yeah. It looks cute that way, too. Down below. Haley, Uncle Danny just said that rocket launch is in 30 minutes. It's probably at 10 o'clock. What is what? A rocket launch. Oh. Okay. I need to tell Tyler. <coughs> Let me Google it. What time is the rocket launch in Florida tonight? Remember last time I seen the rocket launch? I seen them coming back. Mm -hmm. That was so crazy to see that. I don't see it, guys. 
1017 Eastern Time. All right, guys. So what do you think of that? All right, here we go. We're going to do another bow. Get all these bows done, and we'll do the dot, dot, dots. Um, it makes you get the dots and where they need to be. That's why I say do them last. I hope you're enjoying this video and, and the other craft videos I've done. I haven't didn't do too many this year, but I might do some more. Oh, no, this one's not going to go. Oh, yeah, it is. I was going to say I didn't think it was going to go in there. All right, so the next bow. Let's find the face. And remember, like I said, I can't do it from up here. I have to have something to hold the candle. Because I'm not that good to do it that way. And plus I want to try to get this, this pipe cleaner as tight as possible. Then you just start winding it around. You ended up winding them both the same way. And then that's what it looks like. But then you just got to turn it around and straighten them up. And like I said, you don't even have to use the pipe cleaner if you decide you want to um, hot glue it. I could have hot glued it, but I can't find none of my stuff. Please don't fall off of there. This one, ah, oh, darn. This one might have to be hot glued because it, um, the stapler, I might have to staple this one again. All right, now I got to pull this back off because that one, I noticed it was harder to get the pipe cleaner in there. Of course, everything couldn't go just perfect. That's okay, though. Um, some of them have the, um, the staple. The first one was real. There we go. Some of them have the staple too far, too far up. But a pipe cleaner is not, it's just as big as that thing that was on there. You just got to be careful because you're wrapping it around something. I might have to, um. Hot glue them. I had bigger bows, but I, um, I can't find them. I can't find them. I've seen these at the Dollar Tree, and I thought, I'm just getting these because I can't find the other ones. Okay, now, try to do it like this. Wind it all the way on there again. I hope it doesn't fall off. The other one, I do have a stapler, like a little hand stapler, so I could probably fix that one. If not, I'll have to wait till I find my super glue or my glue gun and, and glue it. Oh, it's so adorable. All right. So I'm going to make my dot, dot, dot. I just love them so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I better put some glasses on her. My dots might be stupid. So freaking cute. Okay. It's one, two, three. I got three more to go. How many people's making this with me? Do you guys got your stuff out? Are you guys on your pipe cleaner too? This is just too cool. All right. I'll try to move this one up some. There we go. So adorable. I know I keep saying that, but they are. They're just too cute. You guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, I made this. It's so cute.
There's another one. All right. Two more to go, guys. And then my son said something about a rocket launch pretty soon. So I'm going to go out and see if I can make a video with that. Or at least get it on video. Last time we had the rocket launch, Tyler and I, like they launch it and then it comes back. Like the people come back. And um, Tyler and I were riding down the road and I'm like, I'm freaking out because I see this thing flying through the sky. And... So I try to get my camera out by that, you know, it was gone. It was gone fast. And um, then when we got home, Tyler was looking it up and it was a, it was the, the rocket launch. It was the people coming back. So that was pretty cool. I got to actually see it with my eyes, but I didn't get to get it on camera. I wish I had got it on camera for you guys. Maybe I can go out there and get this on camera for you guys. There's another one. Now I have to get a stapler to fix the other, the last one. So let me go get a staple. Alright guys, I got a stapler. Let's pull this stapler out. Boy, these staples are teeny. Okay. Now I just got to see if I can get it on here. <laughs> How am I doing it? Would have been easier with the, um, I wouldn't think that the stapler, oh, it's right here. Shoot. This is going to be tough, tougher than I thought. I think I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing. I think my stapler is too big. Okay, well that's holding it there. I just did that, but it's got to go down. I got it all deformed, guys. I ruined one, maybe. Hopefully I didn't ruin it. I might have to just get, find my hot glue gun and just glue it. But I hope that I can still get one of these things around it. Oh, look, some of these are sparkly and some of them aren't. Didn't know that. Kind of got it all deformed. I don't want to put a staple right through the center because then I'll see it on the outside. It'll look stupid. Yeah, I have to find the glue gun, guys, to fix the last one. So, the last one's not going to be fixed yet. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. Come back and let me know. If you don't have the, the, um, the stuff to make it, come back and let me know. And tell me, how simple was this little craft? It was easy. Anyone can do it. It was so easy. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you guys, and I will see you soon. Bye.